What is up everybody? My name is Saf. I hope you all are having an amazing, fantastic day. Well, today guys, I'm going to be showing you that how can you root almost any Android device out there. Now, before I go ahead and show you that how can you get an Android phone rooted, first of all, what are the benefits that you can get out of root? Basically, root uh, enables you to work as a developer, so you get an administrative access inside of your hands. Uh, let's say you just bought a brand new Android device that has a lot of bloatware. Now, having the root access enables enables you uh, to get rid of all that bloatware. Not only that, you can also change the way your Android system looks like. So there are a lot of benefits of having the root access. So with that being said, let me show you guys that how can you get your smartphone rooted. Guys, for the sake of this video, I will be rooting my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and to show you folks out there that my phone is not rooted, I would like to let you know about an application that can be used to check the root status on an Android device. So for that guys, you have to get inside of Play Store and then you have to look up for this application which is called Root Checker. So go ahead, install this application on your Android device and then open it up. On opening the application guys, here you will find this button right here which says uh, verify root so go ahead and tap on that and then this application will let you know that the device is rooted or not so here uh, in my case it states that my phone is not rooted so yeah I am well and good for proceeding with the rooting process now guys I would like to take you to the PC side where I will let you know that what you have to do in order to get your phone rooted Alright guys, now we are going to make use of an application that's going to help us in getting our Android device rooted. So the name of that application is Dr. Phone and I have given the download link for this application down in the description of this video. So go there, download it, install it on your PC and then open it up. So guys, on opening the application, on the right side you will find this option right here which says root. So go ahead and tap on that. After that guys, you will be asked to connect your phone to PC. So guys, before you go ahead and connect your phone to PC, there is one option that you have to enable and for that you have to get inside of settings and then you have to move to about device. Here you have to tap on build number seven times until you see that the developer options have been enabled. Then go back and here you will find the developer options being enabled. So you have to get inside of these settings. Here you have to uh, look for USB debugging. So after you find these settings, go ahead and enable them. And yeah, after that, uh, you can go ahead and connect your phone to PC. And then guys, uh, you will be asked for the USB debugging permission on your smartphone. So go ahead and allow that. After that guys, uh, this application will start detecting uh, whether the device is rooted or not. And if it's not rooted, you will be given an option uh, to root your Android device. So here I'm going to tap on start. So guys, at this point, this application will start downloading certain packages that are needed to get your phone rooted. So your phone might restart a couple of times during this process. It might get inside of recovery mode. So you don't have to panic about that. Uh, you just got to give it some time. It's going to take almost 20 minutes. So you have to be patient here. So after this process reaches 100%, uh, you will be able to root your Android device. So guys, the previous process just completed and now it has given me this message saying that uh, the program has found a proper solution to root your phone. Uh, you can root your phone with one click. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on root now button and that's going to start the routing process. Now this is going to further take some time so you got to give it some time. Uh, but this is the last step and eventually uh, your phone will be rooted after it completes. So yeah, uh, after this process completes, I'll take you guys to my phone once again, where I'll show you through root checker application that either uh, this doctor phone application rooted my Galaxy Note 3 or not. So guys, I just got done from the PC side and now I would like to show you a new application that has just popped up inside of my app guard. So uh, here is this application called Super SU. Anyways, let me take you guys uh, to root checker application once again to show you guys the root status on my Android device. Now if I go ahead and tap on verify root, uh, you can see here this application says that I have successfully gained the root access on my Galaxy Note 3. So yeah guys, uh, this was a simple method on how you can root uh, an Android device. And guys, if for some reason you were unable to get your phone rooted through Dr. Phone application, uh, don't worry, just let me know in the comments below what's your model number. I'll give you guys a working guide. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to 
this channel and if you have any queries don't let me know in the comments below once again and yeah see you guys next time yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone Like come and party, I've been trying to shake you off my mind but just can't